Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at expressions that use the word right. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's English lesson is looking at expressions that use this word here, right. And we have eight different expressions that all have one common characteristic, and it is that they have this word, okay? And of course, the meaning from each expression will vary, and we'll learn the expressions through context and the examples that we have here. Now, obviously, when your English uh, gets to the next level, the C1, C2 level, you need to be able to use these expressions fluently and confidently uh, when you speak and also when you understand, because a lot of these expressions are fairly common day-to-day -day expressions in English. So, let's begin. Now, the first one is to serve someone right, to serve someone right. And if we have a look at the example sentence, John lost his license for DUI. Now, DUI means driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? So he was drunk and he lost his license because he was driving under the influence. He was drunk driving, okay? It serves him right for drinking and driving. It serves him right. So if you use this expression here, it serves him right or it serves you right, it means that you think that that person got the punishment that they deserved for what they did. It serves him right because drink, drinking and driving obviously is something that's very dangerous and uh, nowadays not really tolerated. So it serves him right that he lost his license. The second example is to tick all the right boxes, to tick all the right boxes, tick, 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 okay? Example, Mary should get the job, she certainly ticks all the right boxes. So what this means is that Mary, because of her qualifications, her skills, her uh, CV, her resume or curriculum vitae, she ticks all the right boxes for the job. She has the experience. As I said, she probably speaks a few languages. She's the perfect candidate for the job, the most adequate person for the job, okay? So she ticks all the right boxes. She ticks all the right boxes. She is the uh, person that fulfills the requirements, let's say, all right? The third one is to put or to set someone right. Now you can say put or set, two verbs there, and you can also say here to set someone straight. But here we're using right, which is the same meaning. So you put or set someone right. Example, Sam didn't really know the truth, but we soon put him right, okay? So he didn't know the truth, but we put him right, meaning that we told him the truth. We told him what was true. So now he doesn't have the confusion or the doubts that he had before because we set or we put him right. So now he knows. Okay? So now he knows the truth. The next one is right as rain. Now right as rain is informal. Okay? And it means that, well, I'll tell you through context what it means. How are you feeling, Eddie? Not 100%, but I'll soon be right as rain, okay? So Eddie will soon be right as rain, meaning that he's not feeling 100% at the moment. He's still a little ill, he's still a little sick, but soon he'll be right as rain, or as right as rain, okay? But we don't need to put the as, so we'll just use the expression right as rain. So Eddie's not 100%, but soon he'll be right as rain, meaning feeling 100% or feeling better, okay? 
The next one is to be within your rights, to be within your rights. So what this means is that you are allowed or you're qualified because of whatever reason to ask for the complete refund. So let's say, for example, you're going to take a flight and the flight is cancelled, okay? And you try to get your money back or you try to get a refund and you're within your rights, okay? It means that you're allowed or you're qualified to be able to do that because of the conditions. The company made a mistake, you're within your rights to ask for a refund, okay? You're qualified or allowed to do it. You're within your rights. In one's own right, in one's own right. Example sentence. His sister Julia may be more famous, but Eric Roberts is successful in his own right. He's successful in his own right, as we can see here, okay? Successful in his own right. Now, what this means is that even though Julia is more famous as an actress or an actor, she won an Academy Award, she won an Oscar, she's more recognisable, let's say, than Eric Roberts, but in his own right, he's an established actor. He's a qualified actor. He's a, a good actor, let's say. He's been in a lot of movies. So on his own, without the help of his sister, Julia. Because remember that some people use the fame of another person, whether it's a husband or a wife or a brother or a sister or a friend, to reach prominence. In this sense, Eric Roberts is successful in his own right, on his own, without the help of his sister, Julia. Okay, He's an established actor, a famous actor, a well-known actor, in his own right. The next one is by rights, by rights. Now, what this one means is, Jeff was given the promotion, but by rights, it should have been Sarah. So Sarah was the person that was in the best position to get the promotion, but she didn't for some reason. So if it was fair, if the promotion was given uh, in a fair way to the person who deserved it the most, and in my opinion, and in many other people's opinions as well, it was Sarah, by rights, it should have been her, but it wasn't. So Jeff was given the promotion, so by rights, if everything was fair, Sarah would have been the one with the promotion and not Jeff, okay? But it wasn't the case. But by rights, it should have been Sarah by rights, okay? If all was fair. And this one here, to be in the right, okay? To be in the right. Let's have a look through context. We won't get an apology from Ted. He swears he's in the right. He swears he's in the right. So he swears that his position, either morally or legally, is the correct one. So he thinks that he's in the right. I think that I'm in the right, but he thinks that he's in the right. So that's why we won't get an apology from Ted, because he thinks he's in the right. So he thinks that morally or legally, uh, what he did or what he's doing is correct, okay? So he thinks that he's in the right, okay? So that's why we won't get an apology from him. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight expressions that use the word right. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson. Remember to leave a comment below, please. If you have one, any questions or comments, you know where to leave them in the comments section. Share the video, please, on social media, Facebook, whichever uh, social media you use, please try and share the video. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye for now.